what's up you guys welcome back to the channel now ever since 2023 began there has been a lot of trends now some of these trends are trends that are new and some are trends that have resurfaced so today i'll be going through what trends have taken over 2023 and what trends to look out for moving forward and of course if you guys like this video by any chance make sure to hit that like button let's hop into it now for those of you still rocking skinny jeans out there, this year may be your year to switch over to baggy fitting denim. But this is nothing new. People have been wearing baggy fitting jeans for the past 2 years now and this is a trend that is going nowhere in 2023. In fact, we're going to be seeing a big trend in jeans getting even baggier. This style is inspired by the 90s aesthetic and I've seen a lot of people style this type of jean very well. Now the brands I can say are good when it comes to this style of denim are brands like Fear of God's Essentials, Acne Studios and Levi's. This style lends itself to a more baggy streetwear aesthetic. So you can wear these with your fleece jackets, your graphic tees and your cropped hoodies, depending on what you prefer of course. But while we're on the topic of denim, another type of denim that has definitely become very popular this year is salvage denim. This trend is inspired by the Y2K aesthetic, where public figures wore brands such as Evisu in the early 2000s. Salvage denim is also a garment that falls under workwear, and with workwear slowly decreasing in popularity, I still feel like there are some people that appreciate this style of denim, which is why we are going to be seeing a lot more of it in 2023. This year is also a year where leather makes its comeback. GQ actually released an article stating that this year we'll be seeing a lot more people wear leather in the spring summer season. And a big leather trend I've been seeing this year are racing moto style jackets. These are another staple item for streetwear, especially in 2023, mainly because of their bright colors, their bold fonts and patches. But of course you do have the option of going the high end route or the affordable route and the high end route being the Gucci X Palace racing jacket, which goes for an insanely high price. The Supreme and Vanson collaboration also has some decent racing jackets, and also Emilion Do from their 2023 spring summer collection, which are the ones I'd personally go for honestly. Now there are many high end options to choose from, but if you're looking for something a bit more affordable, then you should check out second hand markets such as Grailed, eBay and Depop. You should be able to find some great vintage style jackets there. Like I said before, leather is going to be popular this year. And another item that is definitely going to be big are leather blouson jackets. This is basically a very plain minimal leather jacket with a collar and maybe some side pockets. And what I appreciate most about these is their level of versatility. You have the option of going for a streetwear type of look or a more dressed up type of look. These will literally deliver on both ends of the spectrum. With these, you do have the option of going for genuine leather, which you can get from the coach outlet. And you also have the vegan leather option, which you can find from Cobb Studios, which also comes in two colorways as well. The next trend I've actually been observing are mohair cardigans. Now for those of you that don't know what mohair cardigans are, they're basically these furry like cardigans made from Angora. And they also happen to hold dyes very well. That's why you actually find most of them come in bright colors and a various number of prints. Another thing about these is that there are many great brands that offer the style and design of cardigans. On the pricey side, you have brands like Stussy and Mr. Porter, which has great bright colored cardigans. And if you want something a bit more timid, something that isn't really bright colored, you should check out Acne Studios. They have great cardigans there as well. But like I said before, these mostly come in bright colors, so you'd want to make them statement pieces when styling them. Okay, so let's move on to Gobcore. Gobcore is a genre that's been trending for a while now, and there are many reasons why that is. It constructs a link between outdoor technical apparel and everyday fashion. And from what I've seen so far, this particular genre still has some relevance in mainstream fashion. I think for this year, the GoPro items that have been most popular are items like the Arcteryx jackets, Nike ACGs, Palace, Parachute pants and Solomon footwear. From a personal standpoint, I actually like this type of style. It's a style that has the ability to bring comfort into our daily lives and still make you seem fashionable at the same time. I also think the fans of this genre get excited for the colder months as that allows them to wear some of the heavier pieces from this genre. But as I mentioned before, Solomon footwear has actually been very popular this year. But another footwear trend that has taken over 2023 are the Adidas Sambas. 
There isn't really much I can say about these except for the fact that they do come in a number of colorways. You can get them in your OG white colorway, there's also the black colorway, you can also find them in your green and your blue colorways as well. So you guys have plenty of options when it comes to these as well. But you guys should also expect to see a lot of thrifted items this year and there are many reasons why but the main reason is because thrifting is good for the environment and it seems like people want to contribute as much as they can to the environment another reason is because thrifting allows you to get high quality items for a fraction of the price not to mention having a wardrobe made out of items that are one of one but anyway guys that is basically it from me today i really hope you guys liked it and found it informative if you did don't forget to like comment and subscribe peace Thank you.